Okay. So, magandang araw. So, today I'm going to show you an example. Uh, my second example for drawing the influence line. But this time, we will consider a cantilever beam. Okay. So, as you can see from our screen, uh, draw the influence lines for the vertical reaction RA, um, reaction moment MA at support A. At the same time, the influence line for shear at B, moment at B, okay, wherein point B is 3 meters measured from the fixed support of the cantilever beam. Okay, so, okay, so let's see. Okay, so let's start with the reaction of A. So, of course, based from the uh, unit load, let us say that the, lead, the unit load is applied here at a certain x distance from the fixed support. Of course, it would uh, produce a reaction at A and a moment at A also. Okay. So let's start with, um, let's say, influence line for RA. Okay, so how is it? Okay, so let us uh, designate values of x. Say at x equals 0. Say since this is 8 meters, let's have an increment of 2 meters. So say 0, 2, 4, 6, then 8. Then on this varying values of x, we will solve for the corresponding values of the RA or the reaction at A. Okay, so, so at x equals 0, so that means the unit load is at point A. So what would be the reaction at A there? Diba? So when we place the unit load at the support A and that is at x equals 0, therefore the reaction at A would be equal to 1. Right? Okay. <clears throat> What about so let's say let's uh, let's show it now at x equals zero. So here is the ano so nandito daw yung unit load. So nandito yung RA. So if we sum forces vertical equal to zero, that means RA minus one equal zero. Therefore, RA is equal to one. Okay, so let's say at x equals 2 meters. So how is it? This is a cantilever beam. <coughs> this is uh, the unit load, 1. <coughs> and this is at 2 meters now, x equals 2. What would be RA? So applying static, summation of forces vertical equal to 0. So that would be RA. Pataas, minus 1 unit load equals 0. So therefore, RA would be equal to 1.0. So 1.0 din to. Actually, kahit saan eh, no? If X equals 4, ganun din. 1.0 din yung RA. If X equals 6, 1.0 din yung RA. If X equals 8, nasa dulo, nasa overhang, uh, yung RA would be equal to 1.0 rin. Tama, no? So, if we're going to plot, if we're going to plot the influence line for RA, so there you have it. Okay, so the influence line would be at x equals 0, it's 1. So let's say here. So actually, it's constant. Constant to be 1. No? So, so this point is 1.0. At x equals 2, maybe here, 1 then. No? So, say, uh, theta 4, theta 6, theta 8. And all of them are reaction at A would be equal to 1. So basically, um, yan yung ano natin, 
influence line natin for RA. Okay? So, yan. So, di bali, yan yung influence line natin for RA. So, it's constant. 1.0 all throughout its span. The shear, uh, the shear remains constant at any point uh, the unit load is from point A to point C. Okay? Now, next. Next is, let us draw the influence line. Influence line for moment reaction naman sa A. So, MA. Okay, so maganon din tayo, no? So for n for any value of x, say x zero, two, four, six, eight. Let us solve for the corresponding moment at a. Moment at a is the reaction moment at uh, the left support. Okay, so let's see. At x equal zero. So di bali, ito yung uh, cantilever beam natin. So, nandun yung unit load. Nasa point A. <coughs> so, yung reaction natin sa... So, of course, magkakaroon tayo ng RA din dito. Tapos, magkakaroon tayo ng reaction dito, MA. So, how do you solve for MA? E di summation moment tayo sa A equal to zero. So, that would be... Wala. MA equal zero. Kasi yung unit load will pass through point A, yung RA, which is equal to 1, although that RA will pass through point A then, so wala rin siyang moment effect, therefore yung MA would be 0. 0. Okay? Now, next. What about at X equals 2? Okay, so... Let's have it here. So what about for x equals 2? So at x equals 2, so drawing natin yung cantilever beam. So ito yung cantilever beam. So nandito na yung unit load. Andyan yung unit load. Tapos, um, okay, so ito yung moment natin sa MA. Okay, so yung reaction natin sa RA would be equal to 1. No? Kasi at any at any position of the unit load, the reaction at A is always equal to 1. So ito naman yung X equals 2. Okay, so how do we solve for moment at A? So summation moment tayo sa A equal to 0. O, moment tayo dito sa A. So that would be... Um, Negative MA, kasi in ko na counterclockwise yung MA. So, negative MA. Yung RA na 1, wala siya kasi it will just pass through point A. Tapos yung unit load na lang. So, plus, kasi clockwise yung, yung i-produce na moment ng unit load about A. So, 1 times the distance is 2 meters. Wala na, everything equal to 0. So, from there, we could say that the moment at A is just equal to negative 2. Negative um, 2. Ah, sorry, positive 2. Positive 2. Okay. So, yung positive 2, ang ibig sabihin ng positive 2, that the direction of the moment is tama na counterclockwise. So, counterclockwise. Now, so, i-solve natin yung ano yung true sign convention, yung sign ng moment at A. Okay? So, ano ang totoong sign ng uh, moment at A? Okay, so, let's say this is the beam, yung ruler. Ito yung fixed support, yung kaliwang kamay ko, fixed support, no? So, nandito yung, so, right segment, di ba, ito, yung kinoconsider natin na beam. Yung MA natin, napag-alaman natin that the MA is counterclockwise counterclockwise so anong ginagawa ni capital ni 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 moment at a na counterclockwise sa beam pinapa smile niya ba siya 
o pinapasad phase, di ba? Counterclockwise, so that means pinapasad phase niya yung beam. So therefore, ang totoong sign ng moment sa A would be sad phase, negative moment. So kaya, ilalagay ko rito, at x equals 2, the moment at A is negative 2. Kasi sad phase. Okay? So negative, negative 2. Negative 2. Okay, next. <clears throat> What about at x equals 4? Okay, so drawing natin uli yung uh, cantilever beam. So, andito na yung unit load na 1. So, this is at x equals 4. So, may RA dyan. Yung RA natin, 1 pa rin, tiba? Kasi mag-summation forces ka, 1 din yan. Tapos, hahanapin natin this time yung moment sa A. Okay, so most likely the direction of the moment at A would be counterclockwise. Okay, so take moment tayo sa A. Summation, moment at A equals zero. So negative MA. Tapos, plus one times four equals zero. Diba? So therefore, we could say that the moment at A is equal to four. And that is uh, positive, so that means tama yung direction natin na counterclockwise. So therefore, at x equals 4, ano yung totoong sign ng moment sa A? Oh, diba yung moment sa A nasa kaliwa? Ito yung cantilever beam. Tapos counterclockwise daw yung MA. So counterclockwise yung MA, anong ginagawa niya sa cantilever beam? Diba? Counterclockwise. So pinapasad phase niya uli. So therefore, the moment at A would be negative Four. So, I'll put it here, negative 4. Okay? So, next. What about at x equals 6? Uh, so, dito ko siya isulat. At x equals 6. Okay, so, here's the cantilever beam. Ito naman yung x. Yung unit load, ito yung x equals 6. So, yung RA, ganun pa rin, 1 pa rin siya. Diba? Tapos yung MA, ito yung MA. So, again, if I sum up moment at A equal to 0, so it would be negative MA plus 1 times 6 equals 0. Therefore, I could say that MA is equal to 6 counterclockwise. And again, at X equals 6, the true sign for MA is negative 6. Kasi uh, counterclockwise, it makes the cantilever beam sad phase, kaya negative 6. So balik tayo dun sa, sa table. Okay, so it would be negative six, and if will if it will be at x equals six, I uh, x equals eight. Most likely, this would be negative eight also. No, hindi, uh, hindi ko na pakita yung sa at x equals eight. The moment at a would be negative eight. Okay, so if we will go into draw the influence line for M A, it would be negative 2, diba? So, 0, at x equals 0, ito. Tapos, at x equals 2, it's negative 2. Negative 2, tapos negative 4, tapos negative 6, tapos negative 8. So, most likely, the, the, the influence line for MA would be something like this. Okay. So, these are the points. Okay. So, ito yung at x equals 2. Uh, ito yung negative 2. At x equals 4. 
2 meters dito. This is negative 4. At x equals 6. Ito yun. So say this is 2, this is 2. This is negative 6. And this is negative 8. So yan yung uh, influence diagram when it comes to moment reaction at A. So ang sabihin yan. So the moment reaction at A varies or increase uh, uh, varies linearly no from negative uh, from 0 to negative 8 as the load moves from left to right again from if the unit load moves from left to right yung moment at A sa cantilever beam increases linearly Siyempre, habang lumalayo yung unit load mas lumalaki yung moment sa A so yan yung ibig sabihin ng influence line for MA <coughs> Okay, so we're done with the two influence lines. Okay, next is for shear tsaka moment naman. So let's have it here. Okay. So letter C. Influence line. For shear sa B. Okay, so shear sa B. So I'll just copy na lang muna yung beam. Oops. Okay. Okay, so I'll just copy the beam. Okay, so influence line for shear sa B. Shear sa B. Okay. <clears throat> So, paano gagawin natin dyan? Okay, so again, we have, <clears throat> di ba yung reaction natin sa A? So, one unit, this is X. Di ba RA is always equal to 1? Tapos yung RA, uh, MA naman, ano yung MA uli natin? Um... So let's say if, if we sum at moment at A equal to 0, that would be negative MA plus 1 times X equals 0. So therefore, the MA is equal to X. No? So MA is equal to X. And uh, true, uh, your moment at A is counterclockwise. So that means yung actual MA is diba, counterclockwise. So it makes the beam sad face, kaya negative X. Okay? So negative X. Okay. Tapos yung RA natin is 1. Yung RA natin is parati siyang 1. Okay. Now, so let's try una natin. So, at x equals 0, hanapin natin yung shear sa b. Okay. So, drawing natin yung cantilever beam. So, ibig ng x0, so nandun yung unit load. Nasa 1. So, ito yung RA is equal to 1. Anong moment sa A? So, substituting the values, diba? MA is equal to negative X. So, ibig sabihin, negative 0. X is 0. So, ibig sabihin, ang MA natin dito is also equal to 0. Okay? So, lagay tayo dito ng table. So, X is 0. Uh, sorry, shear pala yung hinahanap natin. Sorry, shear. 
the moment at A is zero, so what would be the shear? Okay, halimbawa putulin ko yung beam dito. Ito yung point B. Point B. So ito yung 3 meters. 3 meters. So pag pinutol ko yung beam dyan, dun lalabas yung shear sa B. Okay, so anong shear sa B? Ano yung shear sa B? So that would be summation of forces. Vertical equal to zero. Left side, left segment. And yung RA, which is 1, minus 1, yung unit load, equal to 0. Diba? Ah, sorry. Kulang. RA, tapos, negative 1, tapos yung shear, say, in-assume ko ng pataas, so plus VB, equal 0. E yung RA natin is equal to 1. Therefore, ang shear ko sa B would just be 0. Kasi 1 minus 1 plus V, B is equal to 0. So, so this is shear sa B is 0. Ayan. Okay? Now, what if yung X natin is, lagay ko naman siya sa 3 meters left. Tapos mamaya, 3 meters sa right side. At saka mamaya, 8 meters. Yan. Ano yung mga V natin? No? So, let us uh, consider yung mga shear sa B. Okay. So, next. At X equals 3 meters sa left, left portion bago dumating yung point B. So, drawing natin. So, ito yun. Left segment ulit. Ah. Ito yung point... Uh, B. Okay, so nandito yung unit load bago mag point B. So, ito yung X equals 3 meters. So, may RA tayo rito. Ang RA natin is equal to 1. Tapos yung MA natin dito would be equal to uh, 3. Diba? 3. Okay, tapos, doon lalabas yung shear. Ito yung point B. So, ito yung shear. Uh, what do you think would be the direction of shear? Direction ng uh, shear. Actually, it would be ano lang, no? Uh, let's say pataas. Sige. E di, pag nag-summation tayo ng forces, vertical equal to zero, uh, yung RA pataas, Tapos yung unit load, 1, pababa. Tapos yung shear sa B, pataas, equal to 0. Eh ano ba yung RA? Di ba yung RA natin is equal to 1? So 1 minus 1, therefore, ang shear natin sa B would be equal to 0. No? So isa ba yung 0 din to? Okay? So... We're having this ano, ah, table. Tubuin natin yung table na to para natin may plot yung influence line mamaya. Okay. O, next. What about at x equals 3 meters right up say, right up point B. So, tawagin ko siyang 3 meters sa right side. Okay? So, 3 meters sa right side ng point B. So, ano itsura nung cut section natin doon? Okay? So, pag din-drawing ko yung cut section natin, so, ito yung left segment pa rin ang consider ko. So, ito yun. Okay? So, ito yung RA. Again, yung RA, 1 pa rin siya. Ito yung MA natin. Okay, nasaan yung unit load? Yung unit load nasa right side. Eh. So, nandito na siya. Nasa labas na siya. So, hindi na siya kasali dun sa left segment. ba? So, kung ito yung left segment natin, point B, nandito yung shear sa B. 
Okay, so considering the left segment, hindi nakasama yung unit load, yung one, yung yung unit load. So considering the left segment, summation tayo ng forces vertical equal to zero. So I will have pataas RA. So malamang para mag-equilibrium pa babatong shear B. Minus shear B, wala na. Everything equal to zero. Eh yung RA natin is equal to 1. So therefore, ang shear natin sa B would be equal to 1. Okay? So 1 siya. Now, pababa, tiba Pababa yung shear sa B. Tapos ito yung left segment. Yung kaliwang palad ko, left segment. Tapos pababa. So isipin yung shear natin pag ganyan. Ito yung shear ko sa B, bumaba siya. Ito yung left segment, kaya pag ganyan siya. So ang isura natin is, Ganyan yung shear. No? Bumaba siyang ganyan. So that is clockwise. Clockwise. So anong true? So anong true sign ng shear? So at x equals 3 meters sa right side, ang shear sa B is positive 1. Positive 1. Diba? Positive 1. So that is 1.0. Positive. Okay, then, oh last, how about at x equals, ah dulo, 8 meters. At x equals 8 meters. Okay, so drawing ulit natin. So ito ngayon, no, so tas puputulin natin siya. Nandito yung unit load sa 8 meters. Diba? So, may RA tayo rito. May moment sa A tayo rito. Pero, yung point B natin, nandito yung point B. So, considering the left segment, hindi nakasali yung one unit load dito kasi nasa 8 meter siya eh. No? So, that would be, most likely, this would be, oops, pababa. Kasi yung RA natin pataas eh. So, para mag-equilibrium yan, yung shear natin sa B would be, Pababa. So, shear sa B. Pababa. So, so, hindi nakasali na kasi pag andun na yung ano yun, yung one unit unit load eh. So, pag nag-summation tayo ng forces, left segment ah. Summation forces vertical left segment. So, positive RA. Pababa yung shear sa B. Wala na. Everything equal to zero. Eh, yung RA uli natin is equal to 1. So, therefore, ang shear sa B is equal to 1. Okay. So, paano nga uh, direction ng shear natin? So, shear natin sa B is pababa, left segment ng beam. So, pag ganyan. Pag ganyan. So, ganyan. Pag ganyan. So, that is at x equals 8 meters ang shear sa B, ang totoong sign niya is clockwise, so positive, 1.0. Okay, so going to the table, so this is positive, 1.0. So pagka dinrawing natin, yung influence line niya, ayan na. So, drawing natin yung influence line niya. Oops. Okay. So, this would be the influence line. Okay. Oops. Wait. Okay. So this would be its influence line. Okay, so
Okay. So let's say this would be the influence line for the shear on B. At x equals 0, so to, x equals 0, 0 siya. No? So, 0 siya, andito. At x equals 3 meters sa left side ng point B, so andito siya, 0 pa rin siya. Tapos at 3 meters right side the point B, naging 1.0, so nandito na siya, 1.0. Tapos at 8 meters, it's 1.0, so nandito rin siya. So, ibig sabihin, yung influence diagram niya is ganito ang itsura. 0, 0. Tapos ito, straight line. Oops. Yan. Tapos... Okay, so ganyan, parang rectangle lang. Something like that. No? And so ito yung magiging influence diagram ng shear sa B. Ibig sabihin, if the unit load moves from A to B, if the unit load moves from A to B, the shear at B is zero. Again, if the, if the moving load, if the unit load moves from A up to bago mag point B, bago mag point B, ang shear sa B is always zero. Then, after tumawid ng unit load from point B hanggang point C, again, pagka tumawid na yung unit load sa point B, papuntang point C, the shear at point B would be equal to 1. Okay, so yun yung ibig sabihin ng influence line natin. This is 1.0. 1.0. Okay? So yan yung influence line naman for shear at B. Okay, okay last. How about influence line para naman sa moment? Okay, so dito ko gawin natin sa, kabila, sa, sa kabilang side. Okay, so let us do here influence uh, line for moment uh, for uh, moment at B. Moment doon sa point B. <clears throat> okay, so gawa tayo rin ng ano na, table. So X, um, 0, 3 meters, 8 meters. So, hanapin natin yung corresponding moment sa B. Okay. So, yan yung gawin natin table this time. Okay. So, pagka, pagka shear, lagi nyong i-consider yung before and after the point. Diba? Yung shear sa B, ang hinanap natin kanina. So, dapat i-consider mo yung, yung point sa left side ng point B tsaka yung point sa right side ng point B. Ganun lagi pagka-shear. Pagka-moment, isang point lang, okay na yun. At 3 meters. So, yan yung hanapin nating mga coordinates. At x equals 0, 3 meters, tsaka 8 meters. Hanlamin natin. Okay. So, unahin natin at x equals 0. Okay. Ano ang moment sa B? Okay. Drawing natin. So, ito yung uh, left segment pa rin. No? Putol natin siya sa point B. Okay, so ito yung point B. So ito yung RA. Diba ang RA natin laging equal to 1? No? Tapos nandito pa yung unit load kasi x equals 0 eh. So nandiyan yung unit load. Okay, so yung moment natin dito sa ano would be negative x, diba? Uh, negative x. So syempre kung yung x natin is 0, so this would be 0. So MA natin is 0. Okay, so therefore... Ano moment natin sa B? Ay, di summation moment tayo sa B is equal to 0. Hindi ba at MB, um, let's say, uh, pag ganyan, no? sige, assume tayo ng direction. So, that is clockwise, positive. 
Tapos yung RA plus RA times ilan to? Uh, 3 meters, di ba? Yung point B. So, times 3. Tapos yung unit load, 1 times 3 meters din. Tapos uh, minus MA. Minus MA equals 0. Eh, yung MA natin, 0. Tapos yung RA natin, 1. So, therefore, what would be our MB? Eh, di 3 minus 3 minus 0. Eh, di 0 din yung MB. Okay? So, 0 din yung MB. Ayan. O, next. Dito tayo. At X equals 3 meters, ano ang MB? Okay, so drawing natin. Okay, so ito yung cantilever beam. Putulin ulit natin, left segment ulit tayo. Left segment, so ito yung point B. Okay, so this is 3 meters. So yung RA natin, ganun pa rin, no? Ang RA natin is equal to 1. Tapos yung unit load natin, nandito siya sa 3 meters. So yan yung 1 unit load at 3 meters. Anong moment natin dito? Okay, so anong moment natin dyan? That, what, that would be 1 times 3. So that is 3. Diba? So, so yan yung moment natin sa A. So 1 unit load times distance, 3. So kaya 3 yung moment natin sa A. So ang hahanapin natin dito, natin dito is yung moment sa B. Moment sa B. Okay, what do you think would be the direction of the moment sa B? Ha? Huh? So, assume tayo, let's say clockwise. So, yan, oh, hindi if we sum up moment at B equal to 0. So, we have positive MB. Tapos yung RA, positive RA times 3. 'Di ba? Moment arm. Tapos minus MA. Counterclockwise. Eh. Wala na, everything is equal to 0. Yung unit load hindi siya kasali kasi yung unit load will pass through point B. Okay, yung RA natin is equal to 1. Yung MA natin is equal to 3. So therefore, what would be our MB? Eh di 1 times 3, 3 minus 3, 0. So 0 din ang MB at X equals 3. Okay? O, next, what about at X equals 8 meters? Ano ang MB dun? Okay, so isolate din natin. So, cut the section, consider the left segment. Ang ginagawa ko, left segment parate. Ah. Uh, pero if you want, pwede mo rin consider yung right segment on the cutting section. Diba? Cut and isolate. Eh. So, pwede kayo mag-isolate ng segment sa right segment. Pwede rin yun. Okay, so ito yung point B. Okay, so ito yung RA. Which is equal to 1. Tapos ito yung MA. Nasaan yung unit load at X equals 8 meters? So, nandito yung unit load, diba? Nandun siya. So, if ko ito ay 3 meters, ito yung imaginary ano, na 5 meters para maging 8 meters. So, pagka kinonsider ko yung left segment, hindi nakasama yung, one, yung unit load. Diba? So, ang lalabas dito, so may moment ako rin dito. MB. O, ano kaya direction ng MB ko? Ah, by the way, ano muna yung MA? So, yung MA natin, ano yung MA? What would be the moment at A kapag ka yung unit load is nasa dulo, nasa 1? Eh di 1 times distance, so that is 8. So, 1 times 8, so the moment at A would be 8. Okay? So, the moment at A would be 8. So... Ano palagay nyo ang magiging uh, moment dito? So, let's say count, uh, clockwise. Sabihin natin clockwise. Okay, clockwise. So, if I sum moment at B, again, left segment, ha? left segment. So, I'll have positive MB kasi clockwise siya. Tapos yung RA, positive din, no? RA times moment arm is 3. Tapos yung MA, uh, counterclockwise, so minus MA. So wala na, everything equal to zero. Diba yung MB, 
Ang MB natin is unknown. Yung RA natin is 1. Tapos yung MA natin is 8. Therefore, what is MB? So that would be uh, 3 minus 8 is negative 5. Lipat mo sa kabila, it would be positive 5. Okay? So that would be positive 5. Now, well, let us identify kung ano yung totoong direct, uh, sign ng moment. So, therefore, at x equals 8 meters, ano yung totoong sign ng moment sa B? Okay, yung positive 5 dito, that means tama yung direction natin dito na in which is clockwise. Clockwise. O, tingnan natin. Uh, ito yung beam. Ito yung cantilever beam, cut segment AB. Tapos ito yung MB. Yung MB natin is clockwise. Clockwise. So, anong ginagawa niya dun sa beam sa left segment? Clockwise. Clockwise. So, it makes the beam sad face. Clockwise, it makes the beam sad face. Therefore, the true sign ng moment sa B would be sad face, negative 5. Okay, so if we will go back dun sa table natin, it would be negative 5. So, yan na. So, 0, 0, negative 5. Okay, so pagka pinlat natin dito, balik tayo rito. Ayan. So, let us plot. Okay. Wait. Okay. Oops. Okay, so let's say plot natin yung influence line okay, para sa moment at binaman. So that is, diba? at x equals 0, ito yun, mb is 0. So dito yun. At x equals 3, moment at b is 0. So dito pa rin siya. Then at x equals 8, negative 5 naman. So negative 5 is here. Ayan. So paano may kukonnect ngayon mga yan? So ibig sabihin, yung, moment di yung uh, influence diagram natin dyan would be... Ayan. Ayan. So, di bali, yan yung influence diagram natin for moment at B. 0, 0, negative 5. So, ano ibig sabihin ulit yan? Um, if the, uh, the, when the unit load starts at the fixed support, tas magmove siya from point A to point B, the moment at B is 0. So, hanggat yung unit load hindi pa nakakarating sa point B, ang moment sa B, 0. Pero from the moment na makatungtong yung unit load sa point B hanggang magpunta siya doon sa point C, ang moment sa point B increases from 0 to negative 5. Okay? So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng influence line for moment at B. Okay? So, from this example, I've shown you uh, the influence line for uh, RA, reaction sa A. MA, moment reaction sa A, tapos shear sa B, tsaka moment sa B for this cantilever beam. Okay? So, I hope uh, you have learned out of this presentation. So, next video natin would be the application. So, what's the sense of having this influence line? So, saan ba ito ina-apply? Okay? So, this, uh, please wait for the next video. For that. Thank you!